Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue. So this is it, this is the final construction video of the sniper spaceship. In this one, I'm going to add some details to, to the body of the spaceship. And yeah, uh, I'll finish the construction of this huge project. But super quick before I begin the video, uh, just as a friendly reminder, uh, if you want to support the channel and help me keep building and keep providing you guys with some content here on YouTube, uh, there are some links on the description box for my Patreon and for my coffee account. So please consider supporting me there and without any further ado, let's get to the video. So this is the current state of the sniper spaceship. So as you can see, most of the structures, uh, they have a nice amount of detail, like the wings or the sniper or the thrusters. But in this video, I'm going to add some details on the Y-shaped body and also on the frame and on the rail that supports the, the gun, the sniper. So yeah, by the end of the video, hopefully I'll reach the end of the construction of this project and on the next one we can work on the painting. So let me just begin by taking everything apart and leaving on the table just what I what I will use on this video. So as you can see, the structure is nice, but I but I have to add some details, some tiny details, and I also have to work right here on the bottom, on the underside of the sniper spaceship, because this is like in a bad shape, as you guys can see. I'll replace this piece right here, this blue piece that gives the, the sniper spaceship a nice angle, a nice pose. But that's for later. Right now I'm going to work on this piece right here, the frame, the central frame. The first thing that I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to replace some of the pieces the, on the bottom right here because they don't look good. So I begin by replacing those tiny pieces with a straight strip of MDF right here to give it more structure. And I've also 3D printed some pieces like this one right here. And I'm going to glue them with some sea glue to the central frame. I've been thinking of making those pieces for a while now and I think they will make the frame look more interesting and more strong and I think it will help to, to better tell the scale of the spaceship. So yeah, I went ahead and put a bunch of those on different parts of the, the frame and making sure that it doesn't like interfere with the other pieces of the build. And I also made sure to, to clear the excess of CA glue from the piece. Now I feel like I have a decent amount of those pieces and I'm going to, to move ahead and put some other tiny details on it. Like this tiny tiny boat that I've 3D printed some time ago. Now each of these yellow pieces has a tiny nut on the top of it and I think it looks uh, better than it looked before. I feel the scale is better, better uh, told by those details. Now I'm going to also add details to the top piece right there because I feel it is kind of empty. And as I did on the detailing of the wings of the spaceship, I've printed some, some tiny surface details, just some simple lines to, to glue them to the surface of the model and make it look interesting and yeah, add detail to the surface. And I think it looks way better this way. And again, as I said before, I'm always trying to clean the CA glue excess as better as I can because I feel like the, the, the excess of CA glue can, can kind of ruin the, the scale of the spaceship. At this point, I've also added some laser cut pieces with some holes on it to, to kind of give me the opportunity to hang some wires later. I do that technique in all my builds and if you're an old subscriber, you have already seen me do that. 
and I drilled a hole right here in the front of the ship because I've discovered this tiny button right here uh, the bottom of it the, the the insides of it look more interesting than the outside so I glued it flipped right here on the front and yeah just adding some tiny details to make it look real Okay, so right now I feel like the, the central frame and the rail that holds the sniper has a decent amount of detail. So now I'm going to move on to the Y-shaped body right here. Uh, I need to add some details to it. It is kind of empty, especially on the, on the back of it. Uh, these holes right here they look especially empty so I'm going to take care of those first so I've also printed some surface detail bigger than the yellow ones uh, for sure but yeah I've printed some tiny pieces and I've glued them on the inside of those holes I decided to, to, to try to, to make a hole right here on this piece uh, to give myself the opportunity to, to, to pull some wires out of and uh, yeah, this is where I did a mistake uh, this piece right here if you guys remember is a resin piece so it cracked and I had to, to, to kind of fill the gap with some CA glue and baking soda So yeah, just some CA glue, baking soda, and some sanding to care of that mistake. And I decided to, to try again, but this time I decided to go with a with another piece on the top of it, and then I drilled a smaller hole than I tried before. This time I was more careful and yeah, I managed to, to make a nice hole right there and now I have the opportunity to put some wires through that. Now the body of the spaceship already looks good, but now I have to take care of the back of it. As you can see, it is super empty and I, I, wanna, I wanna fix that. And for that I have this piece right here, this nice looking tiny tank. No, it is not from a Kinder Egg, uh, I know it looks exactly like that, but I have actually bought it like empty from my store that sells like bottles and flasks and all of those kinds of stuff. To put that piece onto the, the back of the, the, the Y-shaped body, I've 3D printed this piece right here and I'm going to drill a hole right here and glue it. But before I do that, I have to work on the tank. So I did some sanding to kind of glue it uh, together, uh, like better. This type of plastic, it doesn't react well with the sear glue, so I'm trying to help it to, to do a good job uh, gluing it. And yeah, some sear glue, I put the two pieces together, now they feel like nice and secure right there. And then I moved on to add some details to, to the surface of the tank. I know that I've been using lots and lots of 3D printed pieces, but right here, a uh, good old laser cut piece is, is nice for, for that. And of course I did two of those tanks, uh, one for each side of the spaceship and as you can see on the tip of the tank there's a hole where I can put some tubes and try to make the model interesting from the back. And here's uh, another example of a mistake right here and actually this is why I hate to use some super sharp drill bits. Yeah, nothing beats a, a sharp drill bit when you're working with wood and metal, but for plastic, this is why I keep all of my old drill bits, because on plastic it is way better to, to work with an with a unsharpened drill bit. 
Not to mention that uh, in my my type of work, I'm always holding my model with my bare hands, and for that, it is way safer to work with a dual drill bit. So yeah, this is why I always keep my drill, dual drill bits around, and when I try use a, a new one, a sharp one, uh, sometimes I make some mistakes. But yeah, here's the two tanks installed on the back of the ship and now I'm going to also give myself the opportunity to, to, to put some wires and some tubing on the back of the ship with some good old laser cut pieces. And I also added some, some surface detail on that black uh, plastic piece right there in the back. And yeah, now I feel this is ready to be primed. But before I do that, I have to work right here on the bottom of it. I need to install the, the new piece that, that keeps the spaceship on a nice angle. So as you can see, I removed the blue piece that I was using before and to replace it I made this yellow one right here it has the same angles of the blue one but as the the top of it is flat I can do a better job when it comes to to hiding its features so the the surface the MDF surface was kind of beat up so I I've glued a piece of MDF on the top of it and yeah then i glued the yellow piece and with those pieces glued i've also put some some big screws yeah just to to make it strong to make sure this is able to hold the the weight of the ship on the steel bar and i've used the the 3d printed piece as a guide to make the hole deeper yeah now this steel bar is nice and secure and yeah the features are way easier to, to hide I've also added some surface detail to the central arm as you can see right here and on that I also gave myself the opportunity to hang some wires that will go to to the radar as you can see right here and then I threw the, the final coat of primer on the pieces. And as you guys can see, this is a, a brighter primer than the one that I used before, uh, but it is okay. But this right here is probably my biggest regret on this project, uh, the Y-shaped arm. Not because I don't like how it looks, but because this is a big piece and this will be hard to paint as one big piece. Yeah, uh, this is probably my biggest regret. I should have uh, make it like uh, separate pieces. So now finally every piece has a, a decent amount of detail and I can, can put everything together. And this is the final shape of the sniper spaceship. I mean, I may change a few things here and there, but just minor things. The, the, the overall shape is done and now I can only worry about the, the colors that I'm going to choose for, for this build. And yeah, the, the project, the Sniper Spaceship project is reaching its, its completion. Like for instance, these black and yellow pieces that uh, puts the, the wing segments together, I'm not 100% sure on those. And also I have to hide some big bolts like this one right here on the central arm. But I'll do that off camera. And for now, I'm gonna leave you guys with a good old knowing of the pieces of the project. If you want to support the channel and help me uh, keep making, keep building, uh, there are some links on the description box where you can do that. A Patreon and a coffee account. As always, shout out to all my Patreon and coffee supporters. Thank you guys and girls so much for that. You definitely make a huge difference in my life right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the like button if you liked the video or better yet Leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer that. But as always, thanks for watching